Let's start it off with Linda, who's on the line in Chicago, Illinois. Linda, you're on the Ken Coleman Show. Hi, Ken. Hi, Linda. Glad How are to you? Talk to you. Well, it's good I'm to talk with great. you. Good. How can I help? Well, I'm just giving you an update on the uh, how the proximity principle has helped me. Oh, I like <laughs> this. Tell me, tell me the story. What's what happened? Well, I spoke with you back in January, February, and I was going to speak with a woman. Go to Washington D.C. and speak with a woman about my passion for literacy and possibly working on the, with this national group. And uh, you gave me some advice on how to speak with her and uh, just said, show, you know, talk about how grateful I am to meet with her and um, just be open to what she suggested. Mm -hmm. So she said, well, go back home, go back to where I'm from, which is the St. Louis area and um, start making some waves there. So I just started connecting with people in the literacy field, and um, that led to a speaking engagement mm -hmm. a couple of weeks ago at a conference. How about that? On literacy? So really, uh, yes. So I, I, I was really excited about that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, just met with a, a man, just, just kept, like, you know how you, you talk about the six degrees of separation, just kept talking about talking to people. Mm -hmm. And so this man was so excited about what I shared with him about my ideas about how to reach parents and literacy that he said, oh, you know what? You need to be on my panel mm -hmm. for this conference I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And so, um, yeah, that happened a couple of weeks ago. And how'd that go? It was really great. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't a whole lot, a lot of people there, but but that's okay. I just, I, I made some connections. That's right. Tell and, me about uh, the, okay, now let's pause the story here because this is important for yeah. people to learn from you. So you okay. go do this panel, first time you've ever been on a public stage about yeah. literacy, correct? Yeah. All right, so how did that make you feel going into that day, and then how did you feel after you presented? I felt like I was really getting very, very close to my sweet spot. Okay, I stop. Felt confident. Yes, listen, yes. folks, did you hear Linda? <laughs> what that did for her is probably hard to measure. It's so huge for your psyche. It's huge for your heart, yes. head and heart, and you've got some momentum. Now, let's talk about, so you presented and you made some more connections at this small event. Tell me about those connections, what you think they might turn into or what has happened as a result of those connections. Well, first of all, it's getting my name out there ah, mm -hmm. and, and, and um, showing my, that I have knowledge and credibility. Mm-hmm. And um, my co-panelists, mm -hmm. you know, they complimented me on what I shared. Yeah. And that gave me confidence. Yeah. And I just feel like the door is open. Oh, who, listen. Who knows? Listen, I'm going to change you know? what you just said. I don't think it's a door. I think there are multiple doors. <laughs> I really do. You may not see them right yeah. away. Do you know what I mean? Right. Like, Linda, I don't, yes. I, you know, I, I try to be as real as I can with you folks. I don't mm -hmm. think that this is a fairy tale story. So Linda may not, you know, see swinging doors right of the what right out of the gate or right away. But I believe that there are things that are going to happen for you as a result of the one panel. One panel. I think there are things going to happen maybe even years down the road that come full circle and you're going to go, "Oh my gosh, I cannot believe it." And then you're going to go, "Well, yes, I can. It's called proximity." That's what you're going to say. Yes. Linda, incredible job. Great job. Don't stop. One last thing I want to compliment you on, and I want to, and I want to encourage our audience to learn from you. I love that you shared just moments ago that after the meeting with the literacy expert, uh, he or she, uh, she, right? She has a she. She said, go back to your hometown and just make some waves. I want to put that in a little bit easier to understand language. She said, go back to your hometown and start connecting. And you did. And I yes. love this. This is the law of the zip code. And Linda, <laughs> you are the model next to the law of the zip code. I made the law of the zip code up. Here's what it says. It's underneath mm -hmm. the proximity principle. The law of the zip code says, and Linda proved it, that everything I need to get started is already around me. Wow. 
Wow. Am I right? Yes, absolutely, yes. Everything Linda needed to get started was already around her. Yes. Folks, it's the same for you. You Listen, you don't have to move to Washington, D.C. to be a literacy expert. You don't have mm-hmm. to move to L.A. to be in production, video production or movie. You don't have to do that. You can get yeah. started in some way, in some fashion, with somebody or in some place, that's proximity, right where you're at.